Good morning, everybody. Tony Roar here from Roar Dairy Farms. Um, it's the day after yesterday when we uh, sampled some corn. Um, I guess today's August 25th, I believe. Um, the moisture ended up being 70%. It's a little greener than what we want. Uh, I actually thought maybe it was going to be drier than that. Um, we didn't place any bets, but I would have lost. Um, anyhow, I'm going to foam the chopper quick and rinse it off. I never really did do that uh, from the spring. Um, we had a dry harvest this spring in the rye and triticale. It wasn't, wasn't a mud mess. Uh, things actually, other than you know, a little bit of uh, crop build up in the front, why there wasn't a lot of mess on the machine, like mud and other slop. So, um, don't necessarily like to use a high pressure in some of those areas if I don't have to. Uh, you run the risk of, you know, pushing dirt into uh, the bearings or whatever. So, anyhow, I'm going to foam that thing quick, rinse it off. Just going to be a sheet metal job, make it look pretty or prettier than it looks now. Uh, make it look like it's sweating dawn. Um, that foamer, I'm still not, I know there's a different options I ought to, we ought to try maybe. Um, you know, something like the harvester, it's basically dust covered. It's not, I don't know, that stuff's not hard to take off. Uh, the manure tanks would be different. And I did see some comments on the manure hauling page in Facebook. The guy had a product that he was using and it was a two-step stage that he felt like it was everybody's uh, God's gift to washing stuff. So maybe we'll try that sometime as well. But anyhow, we're going to get at it today. There's some free stalls that need to go in. Uh, we're able to do that. I'm not sure how much we'll be able to help do that, but the uh, we're hoping to move dry cows. I'll get out of this thing so we don't hear the chime. We're hoping to move dry cows into the new barn so we can move the milk cows into their pen and then start remodeling the old barn. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff that can happen. Um, I'm guessing we'll probably start chopping next week. I'm just not sure when that'll be. There's chances of rain as well, so it depends how that all pans out. So anyhow, I'm gonna get out of here and uh, get the harvester out. Wanted to do it before the sun hit it and I don't like stuff to sun dry or get baked in the sun because it makes spots, so. spouts a lot longer. Didn't want that thing dripping in the shop floor. So it was a quick wash, but that's all I had time for. Um, it is kind of discouraging to wash it like this and then literally within 15 seconds of doing it, when you start chopping corn, it's continuously getting dirty. Um, I do like to put the, wa the stuff that I use supposedly has a wax, it's called wash and wax. Realistically, you can't use some foam to replace a brush you can't use some chemical to replace a wax um, in my opinion i could be wrong i probably am but oh well um, a good rub on rub off wax is probably the best thing to use however i do typically use turtle wax 
Um, they're a promoted their company. But there's, there's several products that are a wax and dry, and I think that stuff works pretty good. Um, it does feel like a wax job after it's finished. I can feel a little bit here, but it's nothing to talk about. Um, so anyhow, to get a layer of that on before it gets dirty helps as well. So I don't know what happened here, but I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but we got a scratch, something. I'm assuming it's a tree limb. Um, I don't remember anything that was that close to me, but it obviously happened. So anyhow, it's a piece of farm equipment. You'll have this. So I'm finished with this. Now we need to go clean out the maternity. Um, so that's next on my list. I think Mitch or Ash will help me do that. Got to blow out the 300. This thing was supposedly running a little bit warm yesterday. Um, had some interesting stuff with this the last little while. Uh, oh, look, another loose piece of weather stripping. Hmm. I don't know if we recorded this or not, but it just the last time one of these came loose, it fell down from up top and destroyed the fan. Then we got the wrong fan, which didn't cool right. Um, definitely better now. We just don't have a lot of experience with these SV machines. We've always ran SRs. The SRs do not have an air to air cooler, whatever you call them. Um, so it's just a radiator back here. It's a bigger radiator. I'm thinking the smaller radiator might not cool quite as good. Um, however, they got a supposedly a stronger fan. Let's go scoop, scoop poop. Well, we just loaded the third load. Mitch is unloading that. Um, probably close to three more load in here yet. Definitely two. Uh, we're gonna, I'm not sure. We usually like to clean all of the cabin pens out as well, or I shouldn't say cabin pens, just where we store the cabs, I guess. Um, quite a few in here we've had uh, got four six eight ten twelve fourteen probably seventeen or eighteen animals in here um, cows are popping we've had a lot of fresh ones I think we had like eight heifers in a row the one day seven or eight I'm not sure well I know Ashton took eight out I'm just not sure if that eighth one uh, was in row with in line with the other seven so
that was number four. We're definitely not going to be able to get it in uh, two more. Well, we'll get it in two more loads now, but I uh, wasn't sure if we were going to be able to get it in two before that one. 